Welcome back, Shannon. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing my vlog with you. I feel like I'm starting to get the gist of it, and I feel pretty good about practicing turn taking last week with Shannon. That's great to hear. Let's review your vlog and talk about what, what went well and if you have any questions. Okay. Well, I found that it was helpful to practice turn taking using a game like we had practiced last week. Um, this was helpful because I didn't have to think about making sure we were both um, taking turn, equal turns, and it just kind of came naturally. That's great to hear. I like how you're thinking about how you can structure the environment and practicing turn taking. It sounds like you're starting to feel more comfortable and confident with your skills. Keep it up. Thanks. I'm feeling good about it and about this therapy so far, and I'm looking forward to learning more strategies. Good. I like your motivation. One technique that I wanted to introduce to you today is pausing. I thought it would be helpful to introduce this skill next because it fits well with turn taking and what we've been practicing already. Okay, that sounds good. What is it? So pausing is a technique that you can use with other, other strategies such as turn taking to help slow rate of speech and encourage thinking before speaking. Pausing is typically used between sentences and before taking turns. That sounds easy enough. Yep, it may sound unnatural at first though. Sometimes it's helpful to count to one or two or tap your fingers to make sure you're pausing between sentences or when taking turns. Do you have any questions before we get started? Um, how often should I use pausing? That's a great question. There really isn't a set number of how often you should use pausing, but it's important to use it as frequently as possible to encourage thinking before speaking and a slow rate of speech. I'll demonstrate pausing while Jana and I play Go Fish, and then you can try it too. Okay. Jana, would you like to play some Go Fish? Yes, I'd love to play Go Fish. Okay, I set the cards out already. Okay. Jana, do you have an eight? Nope. Go Fish. Kirsten, do you have a four? Yes, I do. Here you go. Jana, do you have a queen? Yep. Here. Jana, do you have a five? Shannon, do you see how I'm continuing to implement turn taking, pausing between phrases, and keeping turns very short? Yeah, I do. Jana seems to be taking her time, too. I think I can practice this at home. Okay, Shannon, would you be able to try practicing this with Jana now? Yeah. Mom, do you have a six? I do have a six. Do you have a king? I have a king. Nice job, Shannon. I really am seeing that you're pausing, and I saw when you were holding up your cards that you used your thumbs to kind of help tap the pauses out. Was that helpful for you? Yeah, I think like you said, it, it seems a little bit unnatural at first, but I think that I'll be able to get the hang of it. Great. So next week, I'd like you to try implementing pausing during your special time with Jana, and just to reflect about the experience and think or write that down in your log. Um, next week, we'll review your home video for your use of turn-taking and pausing. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate at all. Feel free to call me, and we'll see you next week. Sounds good. Great. Thank you.